Okay, hello guys, so I want to showcase my pathing script here. When I say pathing script, I mean how the AI moves when it wants to engage a target. So in vanilla, if you ask it to charge, like this one is now, it will walk straight to the target and just try to move forward towards it. Sometimes it would start walking backwards because I think it's glitched and then it would try to move back again. But this one, when it reaches the target, it gets there just like vanilla. But you'll see now, once it gets close enough to the target here, that they'll start to do circles and stuff. And I hope it switches to the two-handed. But we can see them moving around a lot, right? And this is very unique for this specific mod. And it makes a big difference here. Because they're moving around like they're doing now, it means that it feels more natural when you're fighting a target. So we can see how they're moving around. And the one with the bigger weapon, and in this case the two-handed one is actually shorter than the sword, believe it or not. It means that it will try to fight at the edge of that weapon's size. So I want to showcase this by fighting a Rodok infantry. I'm just gonna ride up to it and fight it. And you'll see that it will try once it reaches as close as it can to hit with a melee swing. It will try to keep, keep itself inside of that distance. So it can be closer, right? It can get closer. But that doesn't mean it will, always. So we can see that it's at a pretty long distance here, as it is. Like, this is a pretty long distance for the glaive. And if I get too close to it, it will try to... As it can, move back. Sometimes it won't be in time. But this means you can't really kick it. You can't time the kick anyway, because it, it randomizes its path, right? But it creates some more dynamic fighting situation for us as players and for the AIs when they're fighting each other. So you can see I've tried to kick it a lot here and I've only hit one kick. Because it doesn't path like you expect it to in native anymore. And this is a good thing. So it's pathing like it does here means that because we're turning quite slow, right? Even if I turn at full speed. It, we don't turn very quickly. The AI can turn at an unlimited speed, so it means that uh, it can get really close to you very quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna try. There we go. You see that's like three kicks in a pretty long fight. And the positive thing with this is that it looks better and it feels better. And when the AIs are clumped, they're slowly and steadily gonna move around the big box, right? So I might have to restart the game here. It depends on if I can restore the module data. Yes, we can. So let's go and look at how it looks in a bigger fight. And while we're at the bigger fight, I want to talk about my targeting script as well that I'm, I've done. So let's mass up the units a bit. We'll just have them charge. And while we're waiting, we can look at that target table size. The target table size is the amount of targets that all the AIs combined on the map have. So we have 63 and 63, right? And uh, plus me. So that's 126 plus 1, that's 127. So literally, Every single AI is targeting a unique AI right now. We can see that this number will change up as we get into the combat, right? So when an AI dies or they get new targets, the number will decrease. So we can see that before they were, the clump was a lot smaller, right? And But we can see now that they're starting to get out on the edge. And by also showcasing this in another way, if I get close, 
I think we'll see a few split off towards me. There we go. But there can only be a maximum of three targets targeting one unit. So to avoid clumping, the units won't stack too much. And yeah. Kurgit infantry, they have this insane armor in this fighting mode. But yeah, as we can see, the fight looks a bit different than native, right? Okay, good. Let's see. Let's go into single player and yes. Watch how it how it unfolds in a bigger fight. So you can see the number isn't it, it won't always be the exact amount of AIs that there is on the map. So we could see here that it said 143. Oh wait, I have to retreat and go again. So you can see it's much bigger now than it was before. And our battle sizer is 403, so we can fit all the units in. Which means that not every single unit is uniquely targeted here. Uh, but a lot of them are. A lot more than what it usually is, is targeted. So one thing that's good with this is that, as I said, we avoid clumping. And another thing that's good with it, with it is that when we have this big amount of units, right, there will still be a clash when we hit the enemy targets, right? So if we have a big clump, they can't just unclump, but they won't be as clumped. And, that, and I think that retains a lot of how native feels, which also is one of the goals here, right? The AI on its own, I wanted to fight like a player does, but I still want to retain the feeling of the fighting, right? So we can see as they start engaging here, you can see how incredibly split, you saw the enemies they were on a line, and we can see how incredibly split the fighting has become. Now that lines of AIs, right, they're starting to sit up a lot more here. So we can see that this retains some of the native feeling, right? At, at least, according to me, this is a good thing. But we can see as I get closer to some enemies, unless they die like noobs, they start switching targets. As you could see, I had too many targets on me there and it had to switch. <laughs> Which is something I need to fix, right? But... Let's see if I can kill my... My inspiration. But as we can see, the fights, they're very long. The fights, they're much, much more split. And... It just feels all around much better. So I'm gonna include this one as well. With a few fixes, right? So that I won't allow it to switch target like it did there, but I will. It will still work the same as I explained. And for me, this is what the goal is. I want it to feel like native, as in we have this big amount of cavalries and blobs of infantry smashing into each other, right? But when they smash, they're not just continuing to walk forward. They try to get around and get to unique targets. So it actually feels more like a battle, right? Like if we watch Game of Thrones, we always see these guys going into like the guy they're targeting. Like if you watch Lord of the Rings, Legolas is shooting at a specific guy. And I want to be able to shoot at a specific guy. That's the goal here. And I think I've reached that goal. There's, a f there's still things to be fixed, and I hope you guys can give me some feedback on that, but for now, please enjoy the script. It's in the module that I link just down below this video. Enjoy. 